Hi, everybody. <laughs> so sorry. Welcome back to the Call to My Name podcast. I'm your host, Catherine, here. And today I am very, I'm filming a very special podcast because the last podcast that I filmed was, in my opinion, too long, but also it got deleted somehow. And for some reason, that podcast was very hard for me to film. Um, I kept getting a lot of technical difficulties. I had things that I had to stop and pause to record the podcast. So I think that this is better now, hopefully, that we get to film the podcast in one single swoop. And I just am I'm kind of upset because I think I said a lot of great things in there that not like I quite don't remember, but I just I know the way that I said it would have been better for the first time around. Um, and it's a shame that I recent I like deleted the podcast, but then I also well I technically still have it on audio, so I might I might post that. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure because also I was kind of debating with myself that it was a little bit too over the place. Like it didn't have a specific topic that it just covered. It kind of went to certain topics that I feel like I want to make solo episodes on each specific topic um so without further ado we're just gonna get right into the podcast topic I know you guys don't want a long introduction but um first and foremost um the podcast topic today is about bondage to sin and um just kind of how we are very blind to the bondage of sin um and I think that us as as a society we've fallen susceptible into the deceitfulness of the world and the deception that you know the enemy that satan has put against us because when we are living in this world we are constantly getting um thrown certain things in our face i mean now especially with so especially with social media um it is just everywhere nowadays in the music in songs in music videos um all over the mass media internet and news there's a lot of things that are influencing us whether we like to believe so or not there are things that have been that we are just exposed to and and from a young age now too with a lot of kids having these ipads and having these things and you know parents are not monitoring monitoring what's going on it's it's a scary thing to think about what type of you know what type of life you're living and if you really are in in bondage to sin if you really are a slave to sin because you know god talks about how we are slaves to our sin but you know jesus was sent he died on the cross he rose again so that we could be free from our sins he's setting us all free from the bondage of sin but it's only when we turn to him it's only when we go to him that we are set free that we are able to un- unveil ourselves and see that that those things that we once served those worldly those worldly things that we once served those are what are keeping us in chains keeping us in cycles and ultimately leading us down the road of death that's why the path is very wide because a lot of people take that path and it leads to death when we are born you know the fall of adam and eve we were born into sin from that and and how to get out of that is to be born again to be born again with christ in our hearts with christ in our minds set set your mind on the things above not the things of of what is seen not things that are on the earth because that is deception that is going to get you to sin going to get you to chase after unrighteousness for temporary satisfaction of the flesh because the flesh opposes god um it opposes what is righteous what is faithfulness all the bearing bearing all the good fruit of the spirit every good fruit of the spirit it's opposing that the flesh is deceitful it's selfish it's prideful it's lustful it has all of these desires that go against what god is calling us to do so if we were to sit here and and be full of our pride and to say no i think i'm i'm a perfect um follower in christ and you know god wants me to be happy and god wants me to just live my life and he loves me as i am those are things that the devil has put into your mind because now you're compromising with the word of god if you read the bible if you open your open your 
the word of the Lord. And I don't want you guys, um, one disclaimer that I want is that I will be posting or I will be referencing Bible verses and I don't have them here with me in my journal because I, I wanted to film this podcast for you. So all of these things I have already, I'm telling you because I've read them and I will leave them here, um, as I'm talking about them, but I don't want you to just watch these videos. I don't want you to just watch certain YouTubers and certain pastors. I would encourage you guys to read the word for yourself because that's the only way that you're going to truly know what God is speaking to you because the that the scripture, the Bible is breathed by the mouth of God. It's it's used. It's a source of how God talks to us. So, you know, I I'm a flesh. I'm still I'm still a sinner at the end of the day. I still have these certain desires i still i'm not perfect is what i'm saying so for you to listen to me like i am not god i am not telling you to do these things i am not shoving certain ideas that have popped into my head through the holy spirit like you have to go and find that on on your own you can't rely on anybody else um because we don't know we don't know what their true intentions are because you know in the last days it says that there's going to be false doctrines they're going to be false prophets they're going to be you know false discipleships in you know spreading false beliefs or false claims against the 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 gospel so it's like you got to really be in your word and and ask god to guide you and ask and pray for the discernment of spirits and and see what kind of people are actually giving you this this information and and don't believe and like i said in previous podcasts don't believe what people are saying because you need to experience god you need to experience the word of god for yourself no one else is going to tell you who god is god's going to tell you who god is you know like he has to you have to be just in your word you guys um so i just wanted to put that out there i didn't want you guys to be like just watching my podcast and that's it and you think that's enough like no you need to go and read whatever you know scriptures or whatever things i put at the bottom i i encourage you guys to go read the chapters on it i encourage you guys to go do your own you know reading on these things but anyways like i was saying um kind of lost my train but as i was saying it's it's like we're in this we're in this world and and we think that god is calling us to you know he loves me the way i am now it's the enemy it's he's putting thoughts in your head he's putting thoughts to make you compromise with the word of god and you know you really you can't compromise with the word of god because the word of god is firm and it is final um there is no in between because just like in Adam and Eve in Genesis when you know Satan you know tempts uh, Eve with the apple well, I don't even know if it's an apple because it really doesn't specify I, I don't know if it foreshadows in other stories maybe but for right now I'm like why did we assume that it was an apple so if I find it I'm gonna put it right here that it says it's an apple but if not I'm like you know but he said did God really say that you couldn't eat from this, you know, from this tree, like, did he really, like, to me, that is pointing that he's trying to get you to question God's authority, first of all, and that he's really making you kind of create your own understanding of God's word, and twisting it, and manipulating it to benefit you, um, and I think a lot of, we're, we are very susceptible, not susceptible, I would say, we're very guilty of doing that. Me, myself included, when back when I wasn't in in Christ, in my walk with Christ, I would justify a lot of things. But if you think about it, if it's not wrong, why do we have to justify it? If we know deep down in our spirit, if we know deep down in our heart that this isn't something that we should be doing, why are we justifying it? Justifying it by saying, oh, like, I deserve it. Oh, I, I think, I, I think, I'm a good person. Me doing this isn't going to affect me. Um, Oh, well, I only live once. I might as well. I I haven't done this before. So me doing it once. See, everything that you're saying right now, you're justifying. You're justifying your actions. But if it was good, if it was righteous, you wouldn't have to justify what it is you're doing. No one goes and says, "Uh, I'm I'm paying for this person's meal because I I really want to. No one's justifying those good deeds. No one's justifying being a righteous person. People justify evil doing or wrongdoing or things that they know that isn't right. You know, the Lord has written the law his covenant it's written in our hearts and our minds so at the end of the day we still have a conscience of good and evil we still have a conscience of good and bad we're like you know and it's not like you can justify 
evil or you can justify bad it's just you know and, and there's a sense of knowledge within us all i think that we can truly say that when we do something that maybe isn't the best or isn't of righteousness we kind of think about it and we're like dang i don't know if i should have done that oh well f it you know and i'm just like we gotta remember that those are placed there for a reason for us to to chase after righteousness because right now if we're chasing things in the world we're chasing worldly desires we're chasing worldly things that are only satisfying to the flesh and to set i've said this before to set the mind on flesh is death but to set the mind on spirit is life and peace i don't know if i quoted that right i'm so sorry but i'm just saying that when we're living by the flesh it's only going to satisfy us temporarily and and as we're stuck in this cycle of sin because now we're in bondage of sin we keep sinning again and again and again and again and again and we're a slave to sin not knowing that god that jesus had already died for our sins he's paid the price he's paid the wages because the wages of sin is death god's giving us a death sentence because that's how holy that's how righteous he is that he views sin that's the wage of sin is death and and you got and you and when you come at it from that perspective you understand that you cannot compare yourself to others and say well it's not like i'm out here murdering people it's not out here like i'm you know um you know killing kids or you know all these evil things that are in the world you can justify yourself doing that but at the end of the day you're you're gonna get judged based on the commandments that are written in your heart you know and i think a lot of people like to point out like to broaden it but at the end of the day it's individually god's looking at you he's not everyone's going to get individually looked at um i don't know so it's just it that just came to me as like we have to remember that that covenant is written on our heart and and those things are good and evil those evil or bad deeds can't be justified you know it's it's just plain bad like there is no middle ground there is no well if i just do it once a month like it's fine like that cycle is because like i said your flesh it how come you can't do it once and that's it and that's enough for your flesh how come you have to keep repeatedly doing it over and over and over again is because the flesh is never satisfied the flesh is going to keep going and until ultimately you're just you're it's just too late you haven't you know it's because it's kind of like to me it's kind of like a distraction if you keep your lifestyle if you keep doing that then you're never going to get on that walk with god and the enemy wins you know if you're still stuck in that same sin in that same type of cycle you know, when people try to bring you to Christ or people try to get you to do this, you're like, no, I want to do that because now you're setting you're setting your eyes on this worldly, temporary, transient place that that isn't even of us, that we don't really belong here. This is a fallen world. And Jesus says that this isn't our home. This is just something that we're passing through. And for you to set your mind on that, it just leads to death. Basically, you're giving your soul to the world instead of giving it to Christ you're you're giving away your soul for something that's temporary versus something that is eternal like the kingdom of heaven